All right, this is probably a really bad idea because I am fishing right now and I'm getting a lot of runs. I don't know why I'm going to film this video right now outside instead of filming it on a table at home, but we're going to give this a try. So put the camera down. And if you see me run off, it's because I got a fish. I'm going to show you guys the rig that I've been making. It's been catching me fish. There's a lot of different ways you can make hair rigs. This is not the only way to do it. A lot of people are going to say this might be wrong. It's been working for me. I've been catching a lot of fish. First thing you're going to do is you're going to cut yourself a length of braid. Now, I don't measure it. I started to do this before I decided I was going to film it. So here's just a length of braid. Again, I don't measure it. I just cut a nice length. All right. First thing I do is I make a slip knot. So I'm going to try to do this as best I can. If you don't know how to tie a slip knot, you can look it up online because I don't know how well this is going to come out. But basically, let me get this going. And then I will show you, wrap it around. My hands are pretty cold from releasing this last fish, so they're not cooperating as they should. Almost there. All right. So if you don't know what a basic slip knot looks like, that's what you got, right? That's what you got. And then you just tighten down the knot. And again, if you don't know what a slip knot is, it's basically just a knot that slips down. All right. So now we have a piece of braid with a slip knot on one end. What I'm gonna do Is I'm going to take a baiting needle. You can get these online. I got this from a tackle shop in Connecticut. You can put whatever you want on the hair rig, right? You can put tomatoes, you can put boilies, you can put real corn, you can put fake corn, any type of carp bait. I've been using this like Japanese floating fake corn. I think it's wild, wild slur, wild slur fishing. Got this off Amazon for like a dollar fifty. Comes with fifty pieces. They usually last a while. I put two on at a time. So take two out. Close that up. Just fake, fake corn. They're scented. They smell like real corn. Basically, you take two. You put it right through the center. Put them right on the bait needle, right? And then you take this end with a little hook and you attach it to the slip knot like this. And then you take the corn, push it down over, over the slip knot, and then I pull it down. And you can pull it down a little bit further past the end of the slip knot. So now it is threaded. Take the bait needle off, show you what we got. It is actually threaded onto the braid and you still have your slip knot here. It's important that you don't close the slip knot yet. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of these plastic stoppers. You can get these basically anywhere. They come with a lot of pre-made carp rigs. So I got a couple of them when I first started off. But it's this little tiny, looks like an hourglass, right? You're gonna take that, you're going to put that into the slip knot, and then you're gonna pull it, and you're gonna close the slip knot onto the plastic piece. And then I take a pair of scissors. I'm going to trim this piece down. I 
right, so now you have a closed slip knot with the plastic stopper, and all that does is it stops your corn, your fake corn, from going anywhere. Now you have a piece of braid with two pieces of fake corn on it. This is a number six size car hook. What I've been doing is I'm starting at the bottom and I'm wrapping it around one, two, three times. Just like that. Wrapping it around three times. And then I am taking this other end and I'm putting it through the eye of the hook just like that and I'm pulling it all right you're gonna look something like that and then I'm wrapping it around one two three times at the top All right. That's what we got. Oh, oh. All right, let me rebait and then I'll come back to tying this. All right, got a bait back out. So let's go back to this rig. Wrapped it. What did I do? A couple times at the top. Forgot where I left off. All right, we got wrapped three times here at the bottom. It's hanging down just a little bit, not too far away. You don't want it super far away from the hook, but you don't want it super, super close. Then we went through the back of the eye. We wrapped it three times around the top. And then I put it back through the eye of the hook. All right. This is what you're ending up with. I know it looks super weird. So again, once you get the corn pegged on there, I wrapped it three times around the bottom. I went through the back of the eye I wrapped it three times around the top and it came through the front of the eye and out the back. This is what you got. So the carb's gonna see this and it's going to suck up the fake corn and it's gonna get the hook. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it on a swivel. I got one right here. I believe this is a number 10. Here is the final product, giving it a little bit of a pull. You have your number 10 swivel attached to the braid. Braid goes down, attached to the hook, number six size hook with a little bit of a hair, two pieces of fake corn, and your plastic stopper. That's the rig I've been using. So obviously I have a weight attached to this because it's a hair rig. If you're not familiar with how a hair rig works, well, with this clip, basically your main line is gonna go through this clip. It's gonna attach to the other end of the swivel. It's gonna sit at the bottom like this. This is a two ounce weight. When the carp, this is sitting on the bottom. When the carp goes to pick up this corn, it's going to suck the corn up in the mouth and it's going to get the hook, which is fully exposed as a consequence of getting the corn. And when it goes to pick it up, it's going to pick up the weight off the ground. When it picks up the weight off the ground, this fully exposed hook is going to be set in its mouth and it's going to feel it in the mouth and it's going to take off running. And when it takes off running, this weight being dragged behind it is going to keep that hook pinned in its mouth. I keep it on free spool so that it can run with it in its mouth and then I walk over and I just 
take it off free spool and put some drag on it and it really sets the hook. This little clip right here is basically so if it gets caught on anything, like a snag or a stick or a rock or whatever, what'll happen is this will separate from the swivel. It's still attached to your main line because your main line goes through this clip and the weight will stay here and the fish can keep running with the bait. So you can use, you can use something like this instead, just a little swivel with a clip on it. You know, you can get these from Walmart. These work well. The only problem with these is it doesn't slide if the fish gets into a snag. You know, the best that you can hope for is if the fish gets snagged is this little clip right here will break. But you can use whatever you want. You can look up different ways to tie hair rigs, different methods of getting them unsnagged. But this is basically the rig that I've been fishing about this size too. Again, I'm not measuring it, but it's only a couple of inches between the end of the swivel and the hook. And the reason for that is I don't want a really long rig. Since the fish is being hooked by picking the weight up off the bottom, if you have a really long line separating the hook, the weight from the hook, he has all this slack to pick up the corn before getting hooked. But if you keep it short, and this is your weight, and this is your hook, he only has a little bit of slack to pick it up before he gets hooked, before he picks up that weight, if that makes any sense. So, that's just a quick tutorial. It's been working for me. I've been catching all my fish on these. You can put whatever you want on the end of the hair. It doesn't have to be corn. It can be tomatoes, boil. Again, it can be any type of carpet you want. But that's just what I've been using. I can link below all of the ingredients to make this. But again, there's a million things out there you can use. You can basically use any materials you want to make your rig the way you want it and just use this method to get started. But that's it.